Hello dear viewers, myself Nasir and you are watching Mr. Zolis YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, some topics related to the fish pond. Uh, in initial we are going to look upon the types of fish pond. There are basically six types of fish pond. Uh, first one is nursery, second is rearing, third one is stocking, fourth one is marketing, fifth one is broodstock and sixth one is quarantine pond. And uh, uh, look at the short description of these ponds. Uh, first of all is nursery pond. That is the smallest and shallowest of ponds for fish culture is a nursery pond. Why it is called a uh, nursery pond? Because of its short size that, that is about 0 0.02 to 0 0.05 hectare and the water level is just uh, 1 meter uh, deep. That is why it is shallow, uh, also called as shallow nursery pond. Next is rearing pond. A rearing pond is larger than a nursery pond. Its size is about 0 0.08 hectare to 0 0.2 hectare. The water is about 1.5 to 2 meter deep. Means to say 1 meter depth is more uh, that, uh, that is of rearing pond than the, those of the nursery pond. Nursery rearing ponds can be seasonal. That depends upon the culture of the fish you are cultivating. Next is stocking pond. A stocking pond is much larger than often 0.2 to 2 hectare. It should be 2 to 3.5 meter deep means 1.5 meter depth is increased as compared to that of the rearing pond. Next pond, this pond might be perennial or seasonal means to say that depends upon the season also. Then the next one is a marketing pond, a marketing pond which is small but quite deep. It has depth uh, greater than that of the stocking pond. And that uh, area or size of this pond, marketing pond is 0 0.05 to 0 0.10 hectare in size and a water level of 3 to 4 meter in uh, summer, deep in summer. Used to keep fish caught from a stocking pond uh, for sale means to say that is kept in a marketing pond. Next is broodstock pond. Broodstock ponds are usually of size 0.2 to 0.4 hectare are perennial and have a water depth of about 2 meter in the summer. And the last one is the quarantine pond. Small uh, size is it is of 0.02 hectare but perennial might be 1.5 meter deep. Quarantine pond for a time to verify that they are not infected means to say they are uh, separated. Those fishes which are being uh, diseased or which are suspected uh, susceptible to the uh, disease they are kept in a quarantine pond. This pond is used to treat uh, diseased fish from other ponds. And next is uh, selection of a site uh, for a pond construction and what is importance of site uh, selection. Good site selection is a prerequisite in a pond construction means to say your culture will depend upon the site you have selected and the pond where and the area or the location where you have pond constructed. Improper site selection may lead to difficulties in holding water in the pond. Means to say if the soil is of uh, um, composed of uh, silt or clay that will absorb water more and you have to refill the pond again again and again pond. And next is high seepage means to say water will uh, seep down into the earth and uh, third one is dike erosion means to say your dike will be eroded and it will not hold the water content up to, up to the mark or up to the level. And the fourth one is low productivity of the pond. Definitely uh, your production cost will be uh, higher and your uh, stocking may, may, be, may get destroyed. Inability to drain water completely and difficulty in harvesting. Definitely if the area or the soil is not compatible then you will uh, face difficulty in cultivating also or harvesting. And what are factors of site selection that affect the uh, site selection for a pond construction? First of all is space availability and topography. Space of 200 meters square to construct a pond better uh, to select flat land with a slight gradient means that slope will help you to uh, drain the water from the pond at the time of harvest uh, harvesting. Uh, uh, sites with slight gradient 0.5 to 3 percent is better avoid areas with large uh, undulations and rocks and with large trees definitely these large trees will also damage your pond uh, pond dikes um, and also its base and as well as uh, undulations will help uh, to leach of or run of the material and next factor is water supply and water quality that is also important uh, water supply the source of water should have adequate amount of water means to say the enough water sh uh, could be supplied at when the uh, pond is uh, required means to say water requirement is the most deepest and uh, uh, important factor for a uh, pond construction streams large rivers small rivers lakes and reservoirs can be used and if we talk about water quality temperature should be uh, 25 to 30 degrees celsius that is for those fishes which live in warmer regions and there are some fishes like trouts which live in cold regions they need a lower temperature than 15 degrees or 18 degrees celsius dissolved oxygen level should be 5 to 9 uh, parts per million and ph should be 6.5 to 8.5 next factor is soil quality if we talk about physical quality pond soil should have enough clay to hold water means to say uh, sil uh, loamy soil is best for the pond dike construction as well as uh, for the pond construction that will not percolate much water down or seep down into the earth
हंड्रेड परसेंट क्ले में क्रैक पॉन्ड डाइक फॉर एक्सपोजिंग सन लाइट एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट केमिकल क्वालिटी पॉन्ड सॉइल शुड नॉट बी एसिडिक एसिडिक सॉइल मेक द पॉन्ड वाटर एसिडिक एसिडिक वाटर विल रिटार्ड द ग्रोथ ऑफ द फिश फिश विल नॉट ग्रो प्रॉपरली एसिडिक वाटर काज स्ट्रेस सिचुएशन एंड डिजीज़